Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op, and today I've got a fish, actually it's a snail, that you can breed for profit. Kind of a new thing I'm doing where I identify where I think uh, some profit can be made, maybe in your local state, your community, whatever it is. I just think there's a weak spot, and uh, I'm going to share it with you all because I don't have to breed for profit anymore. I own a store, but you guys can definitely make some money to further your hobby doing this. So I think uh, the weak point in the market right now is assassin snails. Wholesale, they still go for some decent money. I retail them, I think, at $4 in my store. We sell a ton of them. And uh, in my opinion, they're very easy to breed. And so, you can see here, these are all the assassin snails. A lot of times people get mixed up with a Malaysian trumpet snail. These are not. Um, but they behave very similar. So they actually lay their eggs down in the substrate in the sand and I just fed here and there's a bunch of them that are going to come out and they will eat and kill other snails with their harpoon but unless you starve them to death they seem not to affect their own kind and so as you scroll through here if you could imagine let's say your local store was going to give you a dollar per one of these snails let's say you know there's quite a few and they're they smell the food they're making their way to it like they're they're all out and about. They all just came out of the gravel or the substrate, basically. And I've got guppies in here, which I'm breeding them for some, you know, profit as well, and some shrimp. Um, but you can see there's tons, and they've got, you know, they, they can smell it in the water here. Uh, but all you got to do is let them lay those eggs and keep feeding them, and they will make more. And, uh, you know, really, it's pretty darn easy. And so you can see here they're doing their thing, and uh, what I fed them was bug bites, uh, the pleco formula. The trick is they want to eat meat because they eat other snails, right? And so, but you can see here, you see how they're eating? Like that, like they're crazy. These things are super weird. Like that's, they, they put that, so they put that in another snail shell and then they would eat the snail out of it. That's how it works, right? That extra long tube that's an appendage it looks like a worm. That's what it does. So they're crazy, right? But high protein, just put food in, and you can raise them with other fish. I mean, you can see here, people always say, like, oh, look, kill my shrimp. Like, I raised plenty of shrimp with these guys. You can see here, they're not scared of them at all. And uh, they just want the pellets. And frozen bloodworms work well. You can see here is, like, one of my grandpa uh, snails, where it's got a lot of algae on it. A little bit of uh, damage to the shell there. But, you know, at one point I let uh, calcium get too low in here, so I've got crushed coral, and if I really wanted to, I could do some, some add-ons here, but you can really see these snails are coming out of the woodwork now uh, because there's food in here. And so I just, what I do is I harvest these and I bring them to my store and I sell them. But you guys could be doing this as well. There's no reason why you couldn't uh, be doing this. And they just create all these piles of snails and shrimp and guppies. And uh, so yeah, you guys have been asking, what else can I breed, Corey? I've already done your normal tips. Well, there's my tip for you. Breed assassin snails. Uh, you, you, you can ship them online. You can sell them to a local store. Maybe you just need some for your own tanks. That's really nice if I go, oh man, I got a snail infestation that I don't want. I just go grab a handful, throw them into another tank. Boom, I've got another breeding colony if I want them. I think they're super duper easy to breed. And uh, I do nothing besides feed this tank. Literally nothing else, no special work or anything like that and uh, good quality food though that is important like most snails will breed off any garbage has to be high protein a lot of times frozen blood worms or things like the flu ball bug bites you can buy that on my website but it, it does have to be really meaty otherwise it doesn't attract the, the snail and you want them to you know basically think it's meat and eat it they'll eat dead fish they'll eat all kinds of things as long as it's really meaty so Hopefully that'll make you guys a little bit of extra spending cash to buy some more fish. And uh, let me know if you like this series. Leave a comment down below. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And uh, yeah, check out my Breeding Fish for Profit series. We'll put a link to that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.